Hey guys, I'm Biggest Kev. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm out on the field hunting for the gold. And I've come back to a spot that I've been to before, but I, I, I never really um, put much effort into it, into this spot, uh, as far as pan, you know, digging the dirt and panning. So I've come back today and I'm going to take some samples from down the bottom here. Uh, what the old timers have done, they've dug a, a costine along the bottom of this, this down the bottom of this slope. They've dug a costine across, and it, they've obviously, I think they found something here because as you go up the slope, there's all test holes. So I'll show you first. around on just show you what I found here I hope you can make it out in this camera but here in this long grass here they've, they've dug a test hole it's not very deep it's probably deeper over there where I was standing you can see a mound of dirt just there and all along here through here that's where I was standing there, where the shovel is. Yeah, and they've dug this out. It only goes to about here, then they've stopped. So from here, from where I'm standing, back towards that tree, they've dug a shallow costine through here. This is where the ground flattens out too. As the, the ground runs down from up top there, comes down this way, where this costine is here, the ground's flattened out. That's obviously why they've sampled here, but they must have found something. That's my car just over there, and the ground slopes away down there as well. There might be, I can see a, there's another um, digging just there in front of the car. So anyway, I'll, um, I'll take this up the slope and I'll show you the test holes. Okay, so there's my car down there. And that that um, that costine is just down there, just up from the car. I've walked up the slope. Oh, probably about 30, 35 metres up slope. And here we have a test pit. It's just dug this big hole here. Picked up this piece of quartz. This was just lying around here on the floor. Big rusty piece of quartz. So I'm tipping that they found something down the bottom. I think they might have found something down the bottom there in that slope. And then they've came up the slope. So they've dug this one. And I'll just keep walking up the slope, see what we can find. Okay, just at the base of that tree, I'll just zoom this in, just in there is that test hole that I just showed you, and now I've found another one, so further up the slope, that's their rocks are dug out, and there's another little, it's, it's like a um, costume this one, just a shallow one, but they've dug through there. And if I stand over here and look up up strike, you can see the um, there was a quartz quartz vein or reef running through here. They've taken a sample from it. Okay, I'll walk up a bit further, see if I can find another one. Okay, there's my car down the bottom there, and that last, last digging was just in there, that last test pit, and then I've walked in a straight line up here, 
and I'm probably about another 30, 30 metres away from that last test pit. And look here guys. Here's another test pit, another one they've dug. All in a straight line up the hill. That's your top of your hill up there. I'll wander up there and I'll see if I can see any diggings up there. Over this way to my right, over there where those trees are up on top of that top of that outcrop up there, there's a shaft up there, an old, old time the shaft. They must have found gold there because oh, it's, it's not real deep, it's probably only about four metres deep, which isn't really really deep compared to some of the shafts that the old time has dug. But um, they must have found something up on this ridge up the top here. Anyway, I'll go up the top and have a look. Okay, you can't see me car from here, but straight through those trees in front, in the middle of the screen, straight a straight line, my car's down below, uh, down below that that ridge, and I'm up the top now, pretty much. And look what I found up here. Check this out. It's an open stope now. I might remember this open stove in one of my other videos. I came here before, but I didn't really check down below. So all those diggings down below in a straight line lead up to this stope. And I've already taken samples from this stope. I took samples from in there and in the floor, I took some rocks and I took them home and crushed them. But uh, all, I think I've got some, just some micro microscopic gold, that, that's about all. Anyway, I'm going to go back down the bottom and I'm going to take some, I'm going to do some loaming. I'm going to take some pans of dirt from the bottom and uh, from down the bottom at that costine and pan them out and see if I can find any, any gold down there. Okay guys, up past my car there, so all those diggings are up the slope where I went up the top there and found that, that costine dug into the side of the hill and all these test holes all in a straight line down here and I was going to I was going to take a sample up there but I've changed my mind check this out I hope you can make that out there's another hole there, another test hole because this slope keeps running down it sort of flattens up off up there where that costine is just the other side of the car but down here, I walk down here, there's more dig holes, more test holes. So I'm finding more test holes down here, down slope. And then over here. G'day Daisy, how you going? Down slope here, we've got some more, looks like more diggings just here. And have a look down here, guys. We've got a creek down there. There's a creek. So I'm thinking I'm going to go down to that creek and do some test panning down there. Because anything up here. Uh, way up the slope up there, any gold up there would have washed all the way down. Well guys, I've come down to this to the bottom here where the creek is. There's an outcrop here. The um, area that we just looked at is further up slope. I'll come down towards the creek. The creek's just over here.
You see this outcrop here? The granite, the granite outcrop. And there's a quartz vein running through it. You get that a lot here. The um, the granite with a lot of quartz veins, stringers running all through it. Yeah. Anyway, if you look closely, just there. I hope the camera's going to do it justice, but you can see a bit of it, a bit of an indentation there. Um, that's where the old boys, or I think anyway, the old boys have done some test, test sampling there. They've dug the ground and and just tested, looking for the gold. Look at this rock here, guys. See how it's all banded? The lines running up and down. That's what they call nice. The rock, nice. And you can see, there's the granite. The granite here, all this is granite. Then you've got this black stripe rock, which is nice. And then you've got granite, again, down the bottom. That's sort of, that nice is sandwiched in between the two bodies of um, granite. Yeah, it's, it's all interesting looking around at these rocks. Yeah, just sussing it all out. There's a big, a big piece of quartz right there. So, um, yeah, more quartz here. Quartz on that granite. So, anyway guys, I'm going to sample just down here. And it's a bit of a flat area just here. The creek is just down in there. I went down and had a look in that creek, but it's, um, gee, I reckon it's tiger snake country. And the material that was in the creek is all that black, um, I think they call it bog like like um, peat a black peat it's just all muddy looking um, material so I think I'll, I'll sample up here well guys I've dug a hole oh, a bit a bit, di bit deeper than the shovel head probably just over a foot but um I'm gonna have to dig. This could be a, a meter deep or more. This um, this topsoil. See this brown loam? That's no good. I've got to get right down to the gravel. So what I might do? I might head up here a bit, this outcrop, and take some samples up there because I really need to get the rocky, gravelly material. This loam material. This is no good. This is just all the surface dirt. That's been washed down over years. Okay, guys. I'll just show you the hole I've dug. It's down in there. There's the material. Still that brown material, which I didn't really want, but there's a lot of gravel. You can see there's a lot of gravel in it. That's all the stuff I dug off the top. Yeah, so I'm going to pan this one out and see if I do any good. This is where we are. There's that outcrop. I'm basically just below the outcrop. This ground here, where the outcrop is, it levels off. There's a, there's a flat area here. And then it runs off down there to the creek. Okay, I did the Jeff Williams um, dry panning thing. I didn't want to show you because I didn't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> but um, yeah, I shook the dirt around in the pan and um, discarded the top, the top surface a bit, and then shook it around again. Tap, 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 tap on the pan. Shook it around. Get all the heavies to sink to the bottom. I mean, I'm really not expecting to see anything in this pan because you're really, I think you've really got to be down on the bedrock. You've got to be down deep if there's any gold here. But we'll see. Let's 
see how we go guys. Okay. Let's see if I can show you this. Oh, this bit I've got you on a bit of a slope here where you're sitting. Okay. Let's see. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing, guys. Yeah, I think if there's gold here, you've got to be right down the bottom. If there's any gold here, that is. Yeah. What I might do is go back up where I started and take a sample up there. Okay, guys, I've come back to that shallow costine that they dug at the bottom of this um, outcrop, this bottom of this ridge, where all those test samples holes are all up top there. And down the bottom here, we have this costine that runs through here. If you have a look at the dirt here, I've only taken a couple of inches off, just all that grass and um, the top layer of dirt. I'm in the hard gravels already. So this looks promising. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dig some of this out, put it in a bucket, take it home, process it at home. But this is better better looking um, dirt look at this material guys I just broke it up with a pick and it's clay this is all clay on the top here which is good that's where the gold's going to stick so we might be in with a chance okay I've dug down about eight eight or ten inches and the clay's getting harder, which um, which is good. The old timers haven't dug that deep. This material that I've dug, they've just dug just down to the clay by the looks of things. Um, maybe they figured the gold was sitting on top of the clay. But this has got a lot of gravel mixed in with the clay. So if there was gold here, the gold would have sunk down into that clay when, when it was wet. Yeah, okay the guys, there's my bucket, about three quarters of a bucket, I'm taking that home and I'm going to process it at home. Okay guys, okay, I'm back from the bush and I brought back all this material that I dug out, out of um, the old timers diggings there that you saw and I'm just going to crush some of it up I'll pan it out and show you and we'll see if we get anything I can see some mica there's mica in this clay so yeah that that's, that's all good it's um I think most of this this clay is uh, decomposed granite yeah so and there's pieces of like that pieces of uh, this is quartz pieces of quartz in amongst it yeah anyway I'll get into it. Okay, pan number one of the material from the old timers diggings and we'll see how we go. I've just, um, I classified some of that dirt guys because it's all pretty hard. It's clay but it's clay and rock but the clay is really hard so what I've done I put it in a bucket and filled it up with water and I'm just going to leave it for a few days for the water to dissolve the clay, break it down and then I'll pan it out another time. Anyway, I've got enough here for a few pans so if, there's, if there was any gold in that material we should have a few specks in, in, um, in these few pans that I'm about to do. Hopefully, hopefully we get something because I think they must have found something the old boys. They, for them to go up that up that incline, up that hill, and dig all those test samples, that told me they found gold at the bottom, and then they they worked their way up up the slope. So let's see if I can see any gold. I can see some fine specks. I don't know what it is. I can see some fine specks up there that the sunlight is reflecting back. So I'll have a look under my jewelers loop and just see 
I'll get back to you with another pan. Okay, guys, pan number three, and yeah, it's under the under the jeweler's loop. I can see fine gold, but it's really small, microscopic stuff. But I, I can see a few specks. So what I've done, I'm snuffing them up. I'm going to put them under the microscope just to have a look, just to confirm that it is gold. Um, but gee, if it is, those old boys, if this is what they found down the bottom and then they tried to trace it back up the hill that they, they were very smart very clever people I mean we don't know maybe they found a a couple of pickers maybe they the dirt they dug they got a few pickers or something which made them um, do all that work sampling up that hill and then like I said up on top of the hill over on the um, on the southern side of that ridge they've actually um, put in a shaft so they must have got something they must have got some gold on there on that ridge rightio let's have a look guys see if we can see a big bit Nothing, no, no big pieces to show you. But just back here in the pan, up here, this is where I'm seeing all those real fine glittery bits, which I'm thinking is gold, but it's really fine. Okay, guys, I'll get back to this with another pan. Okay, pan number five, and nah, just microscopic um, specks I can see in the pan, and I'm not even 100% sure that it's gold so I'll have to look under the microscope and just have a look just to confirm what it is but uh, as I said I, I, I really think those old boys they found something because um, they've gone from the bottom where I took this sample and they've test done those test holes all the way up that slope up to the top and then as we followed it on um, we could see where they dug that that um, material out, out of the side of that that uh, top of the of the ridge the, the um, stope that they've dug into the side of that hill yeah so they obviously got something there out of that stope but I was just hoping maybe um, they found some bigger gold down the bottom that we could see easily in the pan and this is prospecting guys this is what you got to do and try and find it find what they found now if there's any gold it's going to be up there And all I can see is small little sparkles when the sun, sun shines on it. Just some small little sparkles I can see in there. Um, metal glittering. Okay guys, I'll get back to you with another pan. Okay, pan number eight. And the last pan guys. This is it. This is the last of it. I've, all, I've got that other gear that I'm... I'm... Um, Put it in the bucket and filled it with water so i just got to wait for that to dissolve and i'll pan that another day but it doesn't look very good anyway um, all i'm seeing is fine sparkly bits in the pan and under the jeweler's loop it does look like gold but it's going to be a microscope job just to confirm that it is gold and not not some other um, shiny metal Oh yeah, and um, what I might do, guys, um, before I go to the wrap-up, I've cut Gavin's, uh, that black rock that Gavin gave me, I've cut it, I've sliced it in half, so what I'll do is I'll just show you, I'll, I'll put the video up and I'll just show you the rock when I cut it, 
what it looks like inside. Okay. Okay guys, let's have a look here. Last pan. Can I show you as a speck of gold? And those old timers, um, even if they found a small speck in their pan, they would chase it up. Because they knew if they found a small speck, there had to be a source of where it come from. And I can't see anything up there, guys. I'm not seeing anything in this pan. Yeah, doesn't look good. Okay, I'll show you Gavin's rock and then we'll go to the wrap up. Okay, let's have a look. There it is, guys. Well, guys, um, not too good again, mate. Um, all I got was some super fine specs again. I looked under the microscope yeah it's definitely gold but just small micro specs yeah so maybe i don't know if that's what the old timers found and they chased it up the hill or whether they found some bigger pieces yeah um maybe i might go back there another time and take some more samples from down the bottom there because uh, they definitely found something there and they chased it up the hill anyway um oh Gavin's rock, yeah, that big black rock, Gavin. Um, super hard, mate. Really hard rock. Yeah, in the the uh, Mo uh, rock hardness um, grade, I I think, and here's that black rock here. I I think I honestly think it's about 7.5 in the hardness in Mo's hardness scale, because um, gee, it's super hard. Quartz is seven. On the scale diamonds are 10 so I, I'd put this at seven and a half because man um, I, there's scratches in it I'll just give you a better look at it there's scratches in the stone and mate I, I just I, so you can see the shine there and because it's such a hard rock it takes a real good shine uh, polish I should say and it it really buffed up really nice, but you can see those scratches there, and they're, they're fairly deep just through there. And, mate, I'd be on that grinding wheel for a month of Sundays trying to get those those um, saw cuts out. But if you know someone that's got a, a flat lap saw, then maybe they could um, cut those those scratches out for you. Here's that piece of smoky quartz. That come up really nice. Yeah. And, and this is um, this is quartz, and it's a seven on the hardness scale, but it's actually softer than that black rock. So I, I'm guessing that black rock's about 7.5 on hardness scale. And my mate Greg came around. My mate Greg came around yesterday, and he brought these stones. I'll just show you. This is a piece of chrysoprase, and Greg's got a tumbler, and he tumbled these in his tumbler. So I've got that piece. Here's another piece of chrysoprase, beautiful green. And he's also given me a piece of amethyst that he's tumbled. He gave me these three, these three stones. And um, Greg, Greg said to me, he said, give these rocks to Gavin. Yeah, so I'm gonna put them in with your rocks. I've still got to polish up a piece of um, banded iron for you, um, the red and the black stripe. I'll do a piece of that and I'll do a piece of tiger eye and um, maybe some other stuff. And I'll put it in a box and I'll, I'll send it what I want. I'll put it in one of those postage pack bags and I'll send it off to you, Gavin, yeah. And 
for being a sport, mate, sending me some stuff. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, I think that's all I had to say, guys. Yeah, it was a nice day out the bush, but, um, you know, and I like getting out there and hunting around. But I'm thinking, hit and miss creek. I think that's, I've got to go back there and have another play there. At least I can get pieces of gold. You've seen it. I can get the pieces of gold in the pan that you can actually see. Now you don't need the microscope. So I might go back to hit and miss, have a bit of a play around there again. I've got a couple of spots on that creek that I haven't, I haven't um, tested. So I might go back there and dig some dirt and pan it out and just see if I can get a big, a big speck in the pan so you guys can see it. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Cheers. Cheers. I'm allowed to have a beer today. <laughs> Ah, weather's just starting to warm up too. Um, I had my snake gators on this morning when I was out there because, yeah, the, the old Joe Blakes, they'll be out and about, um, yeah, for sure. Okay, guys, cheers. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks for subscribing, helping my channel. Take care, be good out there, and I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, hit and miss creek. Bye.